second Theranos trial felt like deja vu today with echoes of Elizabeth Holmes on the stand in that first trial. Today, Holmes and current defendant Theranos Chief Operating Officer Sonny Balwani were again linked by accusations of investor fraud. Our business and tech reporter Scott Budman picks things up from the courthouse. When we say investors, we mean specifically Betsy DeVos. The former U.S. Secretary of Education and her family invested $100 million into Theranos. Today on the stand, a representative for the family says they were duped by both Holmes and Balwani. Elizabeth Holmes, in absentia, took center stage in the trial of her former business partner and boyfriend, Sonny Balwani, today, with investors now on the stand testifying that both Holmes and Balwani were actively involved in selling Theranos and the value of its blood testing machines. Theranos investors were deceived on a vision level, but more importantly, on an operations level. And this is precisely where Sonny Balwani comes in. The jury hearing the message that Balwani, chief operations officer, was just as responsible for fraud at the company, once worth $9 billion, as Holmes. Holmes on the phone with investors, Balwani in the lab with machines. What it's going to show is that they were aligned even though they had different functions within the company. Enough, the prosecution hopes, to secure guilty verdicts against Balwani as well. The DeVos family representative testified on the stand. They were told Theranos would earn nearly a billion dollars in revenue in 2015. That year, the company ended up losing nearly $600 million. In San Jose, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News. 